If you are a target of workplace bullying, finding any support in this world is a matter of trial and error. I really think workplace bullying is something people cannot understand if they have not experienced it themselves. We've all had the unfortunate experience of being gaslighted by family members, friends, other coworkers, and even mental health professionals, psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, therapists, counselors, when we try to talk about it. Allyship seems like the easiest thing in the world. All it takes is one six word sentence. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry that happened to you. That seems like a very simple thing to say, and yet it actually takes a highly evolved, enlightened, ascended, and high vibrational spiritual being who has done his work to be able to respond like that. And most people aren't like that. Most people react with violent opposition. Why is that? Two reasons. The first is cultural. Workplace bullying is a form of psychological abuse, and unfortunately, we are all now living in a culture with zero respect for emotional pain. Apparently, the only way to get sympathy these days is to have cancer. This is a culture that worships at the altar of the almighty dollar, and because real wages have not risen, in my country at least, in my lifetime, and I'm really old, Income inequality is pretty much at an all-time high, and a lot of people are really suffering and struggling at the lower levels of Maslow's hierarchy. We also happen to have a toxic processed food supply filled with known poisons and carcinogens, which I think is the real driver behind the decline in American life expectancy. In a country with the most expensive health care in the world, paradoxically, millions of people remain for some reason uninsured, and we have some of the worst health outcomes in the industrialized world. Consequently, most people's problems are financial and physical, and they have very little empathy left for anything else. Y'all know I read celebrity news every day. There's no shame in that because I'm not an intellectual snob. I like to read celebrity news because it relaxes me and because that's how I teach myself astrology. I like to run celebrities' charts so I can check their transits. Anyway, the other day I was reading about Taylor Swift because I stand T-Swizzle. I love me some Tay-Tay. I went to her concert and someone actually commented on the article and this is a direct quote. I know we are not supposed to have compassion for celebrities. Apparently it has gotten to the point that money eclipses humanity. The idea is that on an overcrowded planet with strained resources, if you have basic needs met, you do not have the right to have any feelings. And if you have money, you are not a human being. Emotional problems are viewed as champagne problems, Taylor Swift reference, a luxury for elitist limousine liberals. This is what the right means when they call us snowflakes. Snowflake means that you are emotionally vulnerable and express your feelings when you are hurt. That's all it means. Despite advances made in the field of psychology over the last 200 years or so, unfortunately, we are all now living in the emotional dark ages. Our emotional illiteracy is at an all-time high. This is the era of fuck your feelings. And because I live in one of the reddest counties and one of the reddest states in my country, every day I have to drive behind pickup trucks whose owners actually thought it was a good idea to put that on their bumpers. People have empathy fatigue. And some of that is, again, low IQ. Again, I hate calling people stupid and try to avoid it as much as possible. Stupid is such a petty and facile insult. Anytime we don't like someone, whether it's workplace bullies or other drivers on the road, the first thing we do is call them stupid. The second thing we do is call them crazy, especially women. Stupid basically means you don't agree with me and crazy means you are different from me and I hate stooping to that level because that that's exactly what workplace bullies do. But let's call a spade a spade here. The average adult human IQ is between 85 and 115. 
the rise in the 24-hour news cycle and social media has given a lot of traditionally marginalized groups a voice, and that can create a lot of noise. Democracy is noisy and it can be overwhelming to some people. It's just too much for them to get their heads around. People are changing their genders, some people don't have a gender, and they're using different pronouns, and it's just too much. They just can't handle it. It just makes their little heads explode. People are tired of accommodating individual differences because it takes too much mental and intellectual energy and effort to do so. The other reason people cannot express empathy for your pain is that they haven't healed their own. If you could see the crap people are carrying around. The healing modalities we currently have at our disposal remain exceedingly primitive. If organized religion and traditional talk therapy ever actually helped anyone, this world would be a completely different place. If people don't heal, it's because they don't know how to. When you express your emotional pain, that is very triggering to some people because it reminds them of their own experiences that they have not yet dealt with. They're like, I'm already carrying two bags of groceries. Don't come to me about it. Worst case scenario, your stories remind people of what they secretly wish they could do to you but never had the balls to. I know it's painful when no one listens to you and everyone gaslights you, but any sort of traumatic experience is a weeding out process by which you figure out who your real friends are. If someone cannot be fully present with you and express empathy for your pain, maybe it's time to take out the trash and get rid of fair weather friends. At the very least, Try not to lose your own compassion. Remember that these are trauma-filled, unhealed people who never got the help they needed either. And know that if someone comes to you with their own trauma, you can respond differently because now you know what it's like. You have empathy. I hope that helps. Take care.